Your morning news now, a storm that could become the first hurricane of the 2019 season is churning over the Gulf of Mexico this morning. And millions of Americans are getting ready for it. Weather watches and warnings are in place for states along the Gulf. Already from this storm system, eight inches of rain fell in the New Orleans area yesterday. Well, it is going to be a beautiful day today and beautiful for the start of Country Boom in West Salem. It starts this afternoon. Uh, we will see Anderson Daniels taking the stage at 345. Temperatures will be in the low 80s and uh, low humidity. So enjoy the first day. And breaking overnight, just within the past hour, President Trump tweeted about a news conference he will be holding later today. He says it will be about his push to get a citizenship question on the 2020 census, something that has been barred for now under a recent Supreme Court ruling. CBS This Morning will have the latest on this breaking story. Roughly 100,000 Americans are currently awaiting a kidney donation. Every day, 10 of our fellow citizens die waiting. Many, many people are dying while they wait. A new executive order from President Trump overhauls the nation's approach to kidney disease. The White House says the order is meant to encourage cheaper and better treatments. It also provides incentives for preventative care. A newly published study suggests drinking just one small glass of juice or soda per day can increase a person's cancer risk by nearly 20 percent. Researchers say the findings add to previous research showing that cutting back on sugary drinks would be beneficial to health. Any measure that we can take to ensure that safety, we want to do. Summer construction projects are boosting security at two Holman schools. A two-stage entry system is being installed at both Evergreen and Sand Lake elementaries. It means visitors won't have access to any classrooms until first stopping in the main office. Traffic between La Crosse and French Island could be moving a little slower than usual this summer. It's because of maintenance and repair work on the Clinton Street Bridge. Work should be done by the end of September. New York City paid tribute to the World Cup winning U.S. women's soccer team with a ticker tape parade on Wednesday. Before it got underway, New York's governor signed a bill expanding the state's gender pay law, making it illegal to pay workers differently based on, among other things, their age, race, religion, or gender. Members of the U.S. women's soccer team are suing the U.S. Soccer Federation for paying them less than the men's team. Happening today, the Country Boom Music Festival kicks off outside West Salem. If you're planning on attending, keep in mind County B in the area will be closed during the three-day festival. Camping and shuttles are available. Tonight's headliner is Joe Diffie. A full schedule of performers is posted at countryboom.com. Live music in La Crosse's Riverside Park tonight starts at 5.30. This week's Moon Tunes lineup will be made up of music from the 60s, from the executives, and the Molly McGuire's. There's no charge to get in. And police have confirmed social media reports there is an alligator living in a lagoon in one of Chicago's most popular parks. It's not known how the four to five foot gator ended up in the lagoon. The plan is to safely trap the creature and move it to a zoo, but they'll have to catch it first. And uh, temperatures mainly in the 60s this morning. 68 degrees in La Crosse here at a balmy 70 in Winona, 60 in Sparta, and 66 in Decorah. Also keep in mind it's a little bit muggy, uh, but as we go through the day, these temperatures will rise and dew points will go down, and it'll feel a lot more comfortable. We can thank the fact that a cold front came through yesterday. High pressure will be moving in as the day goes on. It's going to bring us a lot of sunshine. So as you're planning out your Thursday, try to plan some time outside. Temperature Temperatures by lunch will be in the mid-70s. Great day to take your lunch break outside. Uh, we're going to see those less humid conditions continue into this evening. Temperatures uh, this afternoon topping out near 83 degrees. But if you're not a fan of the heat and humidity, enjoy today because big change is coming our way starting tomorrow as winds will shift out of the south. We're back into the upper 80s tomorrow. A weak disturbance could bring an isolated shower or a storm. Uh, 80s for Saturday, then 90s return to the forecast starting Sunday. And you know what? They're going to last through the week and into uh, as late as Friday and possibly even beyond that. So uh, if you're a fan of the heat and humidity, 
I'm sure you're loving that eight day forecast. Yeah, well, and <laughs> even if you are, make sure you stay hydrated yes. because it is going to be hot and humid. Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks so much, Michelle. And thank you for watching News 8 this morning. Have a great day now to CBS this morning.